Hey guys, Merry Vlogmas, Merry Christmas. This is part two of my Christmas tag. So I found another tag on YouTube from a girl called The Daily Connoisseur. There she is. Um, and it has some fun questions and there's only five. So, nope, sorry, nine. There is nine. Um, so I'm seriously literally just gonna start because this does not need to be like a million year long video. One is, what are your feelings on Black Friday shopping? Are you brave and head out with the crowds or do you shop online or do you avoid it all together? So I used to be one of those crazy, crazy people that got up at like three o'clock in the morning to go shop at Target and Walmart and Five Below. What the F is that? Not a thing for me anymore because one, I do not have time for that. And two, I don't have anybody that I can't just buy their stuff online. Like the sales that are in the thing, they're not great. When you have kids, the sales are a lot more doable because it's all on toys and like small electronics and things like that. When you have a 13 year old son, when they say, you know, when you say, what do you want for Christmas? He goes, I don't know. I have everything I want. It's really difficult. So I don't really go Black Friday shopping. Um, the last year I went was in 2016, I believe, um, because I knew it was gonna be my last Thanksgiving in New Jersey. So I specifically said to my coworker, I'm like, I'm not working, like I'm going Black Friday shopping. And she was like, okay, just go. And you know, it, it was more to go out and hang out with my mom and my sister than it was to get shopping done. What is the favorite gift you've ever given to someone else? I believe it was 2016, uh, my sister, had made mention that she never gets a stocking anymore because her ex-husband didn't really do Christmas. Like he would just give her a bag of Skittles as a Christmas present. Notice how I said ex-husband. And that was like 11 years worth of bags of Skittles. So, you know, she said, you know, stockings were her favorite part of Christmas. So I went and I got her a stocking and I just filled it with candy and Kate Spade stuff and late and like makeup and lipsticks and all that kind of stuff and I know she really appreciated it and liked it and so did I it was it was nice to see her you know at 46 years old light up like a little kid it was it was nice Christmas cards yay or nay if you do send cards what style do you go with i.e. traditional no photo photo funny or classy when I would send cards they would 99.9% .9 of the time be funny um the one year I did like a personalized photo, it was just like a, hey, holly jolly Christmas, Merry Christmas, love Aaron, Dave, and Brandon. If you were a Christmas elf, what would your specialty be? Reindeer wrangler, chief decorator, toy maker, gift wrapper, baker or management baker? I'd be the baking elf for sure. I would be knocking out those cookies. Eggnog, do you pour a tall glass or do you pour it, or do you throw it in the trash? I pour a big glass. I like eggnog. Um, let me rephrase, I like eggnog flavored things. So I like an eggnog latte, eggnog cookies, things of that nature. I don't remember the last time I actually just had a glass of eggnog. What is your Christmas decorating style? Classic red and green, shabby chic, or country farmhouse, colorful, jewel toned, etc. And does your style change from year to year? So as you guys can see, my style is buffalo plaid. <laughs> um, so it used to be, do you like that, the ornament? It fell last night and we're too lazy to get under the tree. Um, so when we first started living together, I was 24 and my style was, holy crap, we need Christmas decorations and I only have 10 bucks. So it was all dollar store stuff, which there is nothing wrong with. I still have dollar store stuff in the house. However, the older I got, the more stuff I started to accumulate. Um, it was still kind of all over the place. Like I'm looking at some of the stuff I have now, like there's a Mickey Mouse ornament. I have a sign that says, have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I have like, oh, this thing needs to be cleaned. I have one of these. Like I just have a lot of like little random stuff, or I did. Um, I got rid of a lot of it. I had this one sign that I loved. Dave called it the Falala. 
it just said fa la la and I would put it in front of the TV and he would get so mad. But the older I got, the more put together it would be. And I will say that this year it is the most cohesive. So in the living room is the Buffalo check. Um, the tree is very plain. It's, it's a lot of Christmas balls, a lot of random ornaments. Um, I have a wreath on the door. I have an ornament wreath on the other side of the door. Then like a little dollar store sign that says like ho 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 white Christmas and all that. Um, I have an ornament tree dead smack in the middle of my dining room table. And then I just have like a little RV cookie jar in the kitchen and a sign that says recipe for a joyous holiday. So I kind of like try to do like rooms of themes. So the kitchen is kind of like kitschy, no pun intended. Living room is kind of country-esque, kind of. Yeah, I would say country-esque. So that's my decorating style. I did go and blow $100 on Buffalo checks up at Hobby Lobby this year. Not proud of that. Uh, what is your favorite childhood Christmas memory? So in the previous tag I went through when I got my Zach Morris 90210 dolls and New Kids on the Block dolls. Um, so I know I'm gonna start to cry. Um, I don't remember getting it, but I know that I have it and I know when he gave it to me. So the last ornament that my grandfather gave me before he passed was like a retro Barbie. Like it was the original Barbie. She had on a sparkly dress. She had like a tool on the bottom of her dress. She was on a stand, had a microphone, a little handkerchief. Um, I keep it on my stove <laughs> of all places. Uh, well, I did until it fell behind there and broke. Um, but that is my favorite Christmas memory is, is receiving that ornament. And I've had it for 23 years, I believe, 24 years. Um, I'll never get rid of it. Like it, I think something on her broke. I don't remember what it was, but I thought it was a goner and I started to cry. Luckily he fixed it. But, um, so while I don't remember actually getting it, I remember the feeling that I had when I got it. Does that make sense to anybody? No, just me. All right, moving on. Uh, if you could borrow Santa's sleigh on Christmas Eve, where in the world would you go? So this is kind of like the question I answered, like where would you go if you could go anywhere on Christmas? Um, but I actually have a destination for this. I'm gonna say Scotland and Ireland. If I could just like fly over a place and get to look at it, it would definitely be like Scotland, Ireland, that area. And the last one is favorite ornament show if possible. So I am gonna show you guys my favorite ornament as soon as I can get my fat butt off the floor. All right, so this is the tree. It has a lot of random ornaments on it. This year, my new favorite ornament is my Noel and my piece. Is my favorite ornament on the tree this year? I like this one. So my dad got me this, it's the Sorcerer Mickey hat from 2008. I don't know if my favorite ornament's on the tray. Well, you know what? We will go, we'll go with this one actually, the little tray. I've had that for years and I love it. How it has not broken by now, I'll never know. But I also like this one. And this one, and this one, and that one. All right, guys. Actually, you know what? Ha ha. I am going to show you the Barbie ornament. Here she is. So her feet have broken off. She's disgusting from being on my stove. This is her. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Merry Christmas, and I will see you later. Bye.